So here I am, with a major international decision to make, and seven of my best friends to make it for me, even though I've owned only half of them for like, one day. There's Roland and his girlfriend Huette, Frederica and her tutor Gila, Benedict and his daughter Anna, and who can forget our master at arms, Eridor, whose default weapon for some reason is a freaking shield! As for me, I don't vote. I can, however, have a discussion with the others. Hey honey, why don't we go to Esfrost? I'd love to meet the family of the woman I'm getting hitched to. Well, if it's not too much trouble, I'd like to go to Hyzand, the birthplace of my people. I feel that if I don't go there now, I never- Too late! Overruled! And so, off we went to Esfrost to meet the in-laws. The first one we came across was her dear old uncle Svarog, whom everyone liked so much he was sent to guard the border. Far away from the capital city. Next we met with Frederica's elder brother Gustadolf, a distinguished gentleman and ruler of the duchy, and he certainly played the part well. So you believe that spoils evenly shared will bring peace to the nation? <laughs> That's a good one. You know, if we ever go into another war, I will make sure you are the last one to die. <laughs> that Gustadolf! What a character, am I right? The two of us are gonna get along just fine. Much better than those creepy twins he keeps around, am I right? My new brother-in-law was showing off his greatest treasure to us, which was neither salt nor iron, but a library full of books, when suddenly he found himself with a problem and he needed our help to fix it. You see, all the salt in this continent comes from Hyzant, and they know it. And so, they imposed the mother of all taxes on Esfros in order for them to get this salt. And Esfros, they can't afford things like salt or food, no no. They could only afford things like swords and cannons and other things made from iron. Which leads to a lot of unsavory back alley dealings in order to get their hands on a little salt. Hey man, you got any salt? You're goddamn right. Awesome! Hook me up with some of that blue shit! We were basically assigned to back up a sting operation, which led us to catch an interesting band of criminals. Don't look down, but it's the Popo! Wait, I thought we were with the Popo! Who cares? Let's just put them on ice and have the Popo sorted out later. And so we fought the criminal cops. Or was it the cop criminals? With the help of an unexpected ally. Rudolph with your bow so bright! Won't you help me slay tonight? Eh, why the hell not? It's not like I got anything better to do in this snowy shithole. And so, with our new ally Rudolph, we went back home to plan out our- Sarah Noah, we have a problem. Oh, what is it now? Our boat is broken. We can't go back until it's fixed. And how long will it take to get fixed? A couple of hours? Days? Three weeks, my lord. Three weeks? What the hell am I supposed to do for three weeks? Ever heard of mental mock battles? Not really. How does it work? First you have a drink of this, and then... Well, I never really got the full gist of it, but once I woke up, I found myself with a boatload of money, a thousand kudos, and my weapon significantly upgraded. Since our boat was finally fixed, we set out to plan the wedding. Frederica wanted to have a Pinkerton-style wedding, and just by coincidence, we happened to have a Pinkerton village just by the outskirts of House Wolfort. The natives were very friendly, and even offered to help Frederica with her fittings. They simply insisted that they would be taking very good care of her. Okay, is it just me, or does anyone else here find it weird seeing pink hair on an old man? Alas, my wedding plans would be delayed yet again, and by Prince Roland of all people. Hey, guess what? My dad just put me in charge of overseeing the mine! But I thought I was in charge of overseeing the mine. Don't worry, you still are, partner! I suppose you'll be wanting to see the mine then. Took the words out of my very mouth! The mines were being managed by my cousin-in-law, Dragan, who was making quick progress with his new explosives. Okay, seriously, Dragan, what did you put in those things to make it so explosive? You're not gonna believe this, but <laughs> the secret ingredient I use for my explosion is... SALT! Seriously? See for yourself! That's the power of... SALT! 
As enlightening as it would be to learn about the power of salt, we had to deal with some other issues that had arisen, such as the sudden emergence of S. Frosty soldiers attempting to assassinate Dragan. Well, I for one wasn't going to stand for it, so we mustered up all our forces and we made a stand to defend my cousin-in-law from the S. Frosty bastards. And for all our efforts, for all it was worth, we almost succeeded. Oh, my salt! Dragan, are you okay? I'm sorry <laughs> for everything. I <laughs> really screwed the pooch on this one. Okay, what the hell happened? Why is S. Frost attacking the mind? Yeah, that might have been <laughs> my fault. What happened, Dragan? Well, you see, I was in the mine blowing shit up when suddenly <laughs> I came across some really cool shit and, uh, and, um, and then what? And I, um... And it seems that he wants me to make him Prime Minister in exchange for this cool shit he's found. Otherwise, he's going to pass it off to Glenbrook. Oh, <sighs> my, my. It looks like our cousin has gotten a bit uppity. I think we'll need to fix that permanently. Wonderful! What a fine mess we're in! All the miners are dead because one man got too greedy for his own good. Guess we're gonna have to report this to the king before things can get any worse. Um, about that, sir. Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me! 